another movie where the villainess isn't revealed until the very end and it's a thriller about a psycho trucker with a handle python who likes to cause fatal accidents on the road. This python has very little dialogue in the film but you know when someone's using the old deep voice trick it's a tip off it's going to end up being a female. Especially when Sandal Bergman is on the credits and you know she plays villainesses in almost everything she ever does. The movie also goes by the title Revenge on the Highway and is based off a true story but some elements are almost certainly dramatised. The copy I've got is VHS transfer and not that great unfortunately but I felt this villainess had to be included. The main character is Claude Sams played by Stacey Keach and he has a strained relationship with his son Paul and the two of them have a falling out at a wedding and after that Paul becomes a victim of a hit and run after an earlier encounter with a certain psycho trucker. Much of the movie focuses on the drama aspect, particularly the relationship between Claude and his wife and his frustration with the police as he searches for who's responsible. There are a few red herring suspects including a man who Claude nearly shoots before he realises just how obsessed he's become. And in the middle of all this, Python gets a particularly nasty scene with a female driver. You there, Red Robin? Yeah, I'm here, Python. Watch me dust this bitch. Another film where the villainess wasn't revealed until the very end is this mystery thriller which managed to be somewhat memorable. The killer in this one was called Alone and they mutilated their victims and got plenty of action through the movie and quite a few murders along the way to maintain the tension. The killer had a connection to a psychiatrist and taunted her with phone calls. I'm back and it's happening all over again. How did you get this number? They're dying one by one. Stop. Stop this. Make sure when you cure their paranoia that there's really nobody after them, doctor. And there was also a personal thing going on with a cop doing the investigation, and he had a couple of close encounters with the killer. There were a number of suspects in the doctor's therapy group, and these were all made out to be potential killers in the climax. However, the ending was a bit of a cop out with a woman not seen before called Rachel revealed as a murderer and she'd only participated in the sessions via telephone before that. I did consider this movie for the main list but there's no final confrontation to speak of and so ultimately it just gets an honourable mention. In Silent Thunder Claude finally gets his breakthrough when a witness gives him key information and this is about the girl that was killed earlier and this leads him eventually to a seedy bar where the villainess finally shows her face. And it's basically Claude against a bunch of pissed off truckers in this scene, but even they realise how crazy Python is when she starts getting too aggressive and turn against her. The final action sequence is a very well staged one, with Claude and Python engaging in a truck duel. And there are good production value here throughout, particularly when Python shows just how psychotic she is as she destroys a police car. This final battle goes on for a good 10 minutes and has a truly epic feel to it, so this film and its villainess get a relatively higher place than they might have done despite the small screen time. Sam's does prove to be a match for Art Python, 
going tire to tire with her so to speak and after lots of hectic driving and impressive stunt work we get a great send off for the villainess when Sam's decides to give her a taste of her own medicine. You there Python? Right here Sam's. Watch me dust this bitch. And with Python defeated, Sam's confronts her one last time. My, my legs are broken. Call a doctor. I said, call a doctor. My boy never had a chance to know what it feels like to be 19. My boy's name was Paul. <laughs> 